Hi guys, Michael Myers, 78 here, um, just going to bring you a little um, random video. Um, today I think we'll have a little look at my um, Umbrella Entertainment um, Blu-rays and DVDs that I have in my collection. Um, I don't have too much. Of the umbrella stuff in my collection at the moment, um, but I am hoping to rectify that um, in the coming weeks and months. Um, there's quite a few stuff from Umbrella that I would still love to get in my collection. Um, a lot of a lot of good releases. They've released some really good stuff. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot um, so far in my collection, but um, I am looking to pick up a whole load more from them. I really, really like Umbrella Entertainment stuff. I think they release some excellent stuff. Um, some of the releases lucky are, are really lacking in the extras department, but they do release some excellent stuff. Um, there is a few new ones that have just released that I would like to pick up. Um, Body Melt, Idle Hands, um, and I understand that they are due to release um, Death Wish 2 and 3, um, double featured Blu-ray in August. Um, of course, that release is also going to contain three cuts of the movie for Death Wish 2, including the Greek VHS cut, which includes three minutes, never before seen anywhere else. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, um, let's quickly go on with this. Um, this is what I have of my Umbrella Entertainment collection so far. And first up, as you can see, is the old time classic slasher Halloween. Um, this I think was one of Umbrella's earlier um, releases that has the old um, symbol down in the bottom corner. Um, I have kept this one sealed because I have multiple different editions of the original Halloween movie, so I have decided to keep this one sealed. It's a nice little release from Umbrella. Um, it's region free. A um, couple of decent extras. It's got the cut above the rest. 87 minute documentary on there. So, yep, it's a, it, it's a, a nice enough release from Umbrella. Um, really, really cool. I um, cover, of course. What can you say about the cover? Fantastic stuff. So, yep. Um, Next up is, um, sorry, next up is, um, the Reanimator Integral Cut. Um, i tr been trying to get the two disc release of this, the Umbrella, Umbrella released quite a, a little while back, but I haven't been able to get it, but I'm quite happy, I'm happy enough with this release. I have several different editions of Reanimator on Blu-ray. I have the UK Steelbook as well, which also includes Integral Cut, but I bought this solely for the, the artwork, basically. I think that artwork is absolutely fantastic stuff. Really love that artwork. Um, really, really great looking. Um, and of course, you have the back. Um, couple of not too bad extras, nothing really to write home about, nothing much to write home about, but it's a decent enough um, release. So, and of course it's um, pretty sure that this one is a reversible sleeve. Um, yeah, it's a reversible sleeve, it's pretty similar to, um, it's pretty similar to that one, except it doesn't have the, the blood uh, th um, thing down the middle so yep that's reani reanimator the integral cut um, next up is the 
limited edition of Night of the Living Dead. This is the two disc limited edition release of the original and the remake. The 1990 remake of just used that cover art. Um, both of them will um, be changing the artwork back to the original one um, on the other side. Um, I'll just quickly pause the video actually and I'll show you the reverse side. So yeah guys, here is the um, other side of the artwork. Of course, like I said, this is a two disc collector's limited edition of the original and the remake. And um, this is number 850 of 2300 that was released. Um, um, this I think this was a JB Hi-Fi website exclusive. Um, so yeah, um, really, really, I was really, really chuffed. Um, to get this release, there was no way I was missing out on this. Um, comes with really great extras as well, and the transfer of the remake is night and day compared to that abomination that Twilight Time released. They absolutely made a mess of that release. Um, but, you know, Umbrella have come to the fore and they've released an excellent um, released an excellent Blu-ray with the original and the remake. Really fantastic stuff. Um, next up is one of my favourite 80s fantasy films, The Beastmaster, excellent stuff, really really lovely cover, cover art, the cover art is fantastic, um, Tanya Roberts, Mark Singer, and of course directed by um, Don Coscarelli who directed Phantasm movies of course, a um, couple of decent extras, um, it's got the saga of Beastmaster feature at 55 minutes, um, yep, it's a really, really good release. If you love these kind of 80s fantasy films, then The Beastmaster, this is well worth picking up. Really, really cool stuff. Um, next up is the cult classic exploitation horror flick, Road Games, starring Stacey Keach and 80s scream queen Jamie Lee Curtis, of course. Um, really, really excellent disc. Um, it was quite a quite a uh, decent some decent extras on this. It's a, a newly restored 4K master, of course. Um, some really cool extras as well. Um, the making of road games, um, uncut, not quite Hollywood interviews. Um, never before seen a 1980 lecture on the making of road games from the director. Um, and co-producer and the composer Brian May, of course. Um, but yep, some really, really cool extras on this. Well worth picking up if you're into these kind of movies. Um, really, really good stuff. Um, yep, road games, fantastic stuff. Really cool cover as well. Um, next up is Hardware. Um, I thought this film was alright, it was okay. Nothing nothing too spectacular about it. Um the reason I bought the umbrella the um, the umbrella release I liked the artwork more on this one than the UK release or the US release thoroughly. Um I, I really liked the, the artwork on this. So yeah, I picked this up really quite cheap. Um it's got couple of decent extras on it as well. It's a really cool little release. If you can get it cheap enough, it's well worth picking up. Um, another little cool release from Umbrella. Um, like I said, I love that artwork. Really cool stuff. Um, next up is Scanners. Absolutely fantastic film. I love Scanners. Michael Ironside plays excellent part in this. Um, really good stuff. Um, David Cronenberg classic, of course. Um, 
um, nothing, nothing much in terms of extras, but it does have a cool um, 59 minute documentary on the films of David Cronenberg, um, which is well worth a look, um, and Inside Scan Scanners and Inside Look, um, with hor horror journalist Alan Jones. Um, but yep, really, really excellent release, really cool stuff. Scanners, excellent. Um, next up is 80s um, family kind of fantasy flick, um, Howard the Duck. I actually quite enjoyed Howard the Duck. For what it was, I thought it was pretty cool. Quite liked the movie. Um, I'm not just into, like, you know, watching all horror films. I, I like above 80s you know, fantasy or 80s kind of family flicks like this kind of thing. Um, yeah, Howard the Duck's pretty cool little film. It was alright. A um, couple of decent extras, docu uh, documentary, um, making of, um, a look back at Howard the Duck, of course. So, yep, um, really cool little release from Umbrella. Like I said, some of the releases really lack on the extras department, but they do release some excellent stuff and I really really like Umbrella They're doing some really cool stuff um, The Punisher this is a fantastic release from Umbrella when I saw they were releasing this this was a no brainer for me for me this version of The Punisher is the best the Dolph Lundgren version um, cool artwork as well on there and of course this is the one that comes with three cuts of the movie um, it comes with the original theatrical cut um, in HD and it comes with the unrated cut which is in standard definition and it also comes with the work print which is in standard definition. To be honest I don't care whether they're in standard definition having all three cuts of this movie is, is absolutely fantastic. I love this version of The Punisher, it's always been my favourite and always will be. A um, couple of decent extras on it as well, well worth picking up and it's reversible sleeve as well. Um, I'll just um, quickly um, show you the inside. Like I said, it's reversible sleeve. I'll just um, quickly show you the other side of the sleeve. There you have it. Um, Dolph Lundgren on the front. I have the UK steelbook of this. I am going to keep that solely for the embossed artwork on the front. But um, nothing. It wouldn't beat this release, obviously. Three cuts of the movie. You can't ask for any better than that. Um, fantastic release from Umbrella. Well worth picking up. Um, next up, Alien Nation. I love the Alien Nation. It's an excellent film. Um, it's also now um, been released here in the UK from 101 Films. My only disappointment with this release from Umbrella, there was no extras and it doesn't contain the Alien subtitles in the movie, which was pretty disappointing. Um, when the Aliens speak, it comes up on the screen, you know, um, the alien subtitles come up on the screen, but this release doesn't have that. Um, 101 Films also released it without the alien subtitles, but there was that much of a fuss about it from collectors that 101 went back to the drawing board and re released it with the alien subtitles included in it. So, um, for me, I still like this release from Umbrella, although it is lacking in the extras department and doesn't have the Alien subtitles, it's still a little cool release. But the 101 Films um, UK release is the one to get if you are, you know, quite picky about what edition you want to own. I might even just double dip and buy the 101 Films release as well, but yeah, still a cool release. I like the cover. Cool film as well. Um, next up is Razorback. Really enjoyable. Um, really enjoyable film. 
Um, really enjoyed um, Razorback. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool film. Um, of course, directed by the guy who directed Highlander, Russell Mulcahy, of course. It's um, region free. A um, couple of decent extras on it as well. Um, some some decent extras on there. Um, interview, um, audio interview as well. Um, so yeah, it's a it, it's a decent release. Um, if you've never seen Razorback, it's well worth a look. Really, really enjoyable film. Really cool stuff. Um, well worth picking up. Um, next up is the absolutely superb um, two disc limited edition of The Blob, the original and the 1988 remake um, and also includes Son of Blob in standard definition as well so you're getting three movies in this um, limited edition collector's edition um, release from Umbrella. This is one of their uh, releases that they really did um, go to town on for me. Um, really excellent release from them. Um, this was another one. That it was a no-brainer for me to buy. Um, it's number, as you can see, sorry, just trying to, there we go, um, 1,780 of 2300 that was released I think this I think this release now is now out of print I'm pretty sure it is the limited edition release um, so yep um, fantastic stuff you're getting the 1988 remake you're getting the 1950 original and you're getting um, bonus feature Son of Blob in standard definition and of course it comes with an excellent um, reversible sleeve um, really really fantastic release by Umbrella um, like I said they're really doing some excellent stuff um, and when they do release stuff like this you know they really really um, go to town um, with some of their stuff and that artwork is absolutely amazing amazing artwork really fantastic stuff um, of course they did release it in single disc as well um, just after this one was released so yep a limited edition of the blob great release great stuff from umbrella um, next up is Patrick 35th anniversary edition um, really really I quite enjoyed Patrick I thought it was a really good little film um, remember seeing it years ago and I remember actually quite enjoying it then um, it's a really actually a pretty cool little release from Umbrella they really did do quite a good job with us some decent extras on it it's, um, it's got a audio commentary a couple of interviews and stuff trailers um, so yeah it also comes it's region free as well and it also comes with um, a load of um, art cards um, inside, I picked this up. I think I picked this up for about five quid on um, Amazon. I think it was. Um, yeah, like I said, it comes with a whole load of um, art cards. Um, not gonna take them all out, and, but yeah, um, excellent stuff. Um, sorry guys, just trying to get the art cards. Um, back in there we go so yep that's Patrick um, 35th anniversary edition really cool little release from Umbrella well worth picking up if you can get it cheap um, last up, last but not least for the Blu-rays um, is one of my all time favourite 80s horror films Night of the Creeps I absolutely love this movie. I think it is absolutely brilliant. I just just something about Night of the Creeps. It's an, it, it's one of those guilty pleasures I just love. Um and I could watch it time and time and time again and never get fed up with it. It's another release that 
ATM, sorry, Umbrella Entertainment have really knocked out of the park with this release. Um, it comes with a host of extras. I actually had the US release, and when I got this, I sold my US release because the US release, the artwork in the US release is absolutely terrible. Really, really does look really shitty, but Umbrella did a fantastic job with this release. This is far superior to the US release. It comes with a couple of, um, it comes with a new um, Fred Decker interview that is not on the US release. And I think there's something else on this as well that is not on the US release also. And I like the way they've did the artwork on the back of the cover as well. Really, really excellent release from Umbrella. They really did knock it out of the park with this. And as of course, it's um, reversible um, sleeve, which I'll um, quickly show you in a moment. I'll just show you the disc on the inside. Um, so, yep, I'll just... So, yeah, guys, here is the um, reverse um, sleeve from the, the Creeps. Um, this is the cover I always remember going into the video stores back in the 80s and seeing the hand coming through the, the glass on the door. Um, I love Night of the Creeps. Fantastic little 80s horror film. Fun, cheesy 80s horror. Um, and that artwork is absolutely phenomenal. Um, like I said, I hated the US release. They just... I don't know. They, it was just... Just such a shit release for a you know a cult eighties classic horror horror movie for me, but Umbrella really um you know did the job on this. They really it really is a fantastic release, far superior to the US release in every aspect. Um, so yep, that's um Night of the Creeps. Um. That's it for my Umbrella Entertainment Blu-rays. Um, I only have a couple of DVDs which I'll just quickly show you. Um, first up is The Legend of Frog Dreaming, aka um, The Go Kids. If you've never seen this film, it is actually a pretty good little film. It's a, a pretty, pretty good little um fantasy kind of adventure film it's kind of it's supposed to be in a similar vein to the goonies um it's not really you know the similar to the goonies the goonies as such but it is supposed to be you know that way it, it, it's meant to be you know something kind of along those lines, it is a, it is a nice little, um, it's, you know, it's supposed to be inspired by stuff like the Goonies, um, it, is a, it is a cool, it is a decent little um, 80s um, adventure fantasy film, of course, um, Henry Thomas, who was, an e who was a kid in E.T., and course directed by Brian Trenchard Smith who directed Turkey Shoot and stuff like that so yep it is a decent little film um, it, it, it's uh, also um, a reversible um, sleeve that you have the inside um, so yeah it, it is a decent little film but worth picking up if you pick it up cheap um, and last up um, for my umbrella releases is Electric Bigaloo, The Wild and Untold Story of Canon Films. Um, really excellent documentary. It's now released, of course, they released it on Blu-ray now, along with um, another movie on Blu-ray, which I really want to pick up. 
but I think it's the Blu-ray's out of print now. I think it goes for, you know, kind of silly money. Um, but I will, I will pick it up eventually. The Blu-ray. Um, it's an excellent documentary, by the way. Well worth checking out if you've never seen it. Um, telling you everything you need to know about Canon films back in the eighties. Um, stuff like that. So yeah, um, got a whole host of stars and directors talking about, you know, Canon films. Um, really, really excellent documentary. Um, I really want to pick up the Blu-ray, the double featured Blu-ray. Um, there is a whole host of other um, Umbrella Entertainment uh, Blu-rays I really want to pick up. Um, you know, they've just released um, the 70s and 80s Drive-In Delirium Blu-rays that I want to pick up. The, you know, it's just trailers from you know, movies from the 70s and the 80s, um, they, it looks, they look really, really excellent Blu-rays, and I want to pick them up, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, so, yep, um, that's been my Umbrella Entertainment collection so far to date, like I said, there's a lot more I really want to pick up, because I love Umbrella releases, I think they do some really cool stuff, a lot of the releases, like I said, lack in the extras department, but when they do release a really good uh, Blu-ray, it is a really good Blu-ray, it, you know, it, it, it's, um, they really do go all out with some of the releases, other releases, you know, are pretty, you know, tame in terms of overall packaging, but they really are an excellent company from, I am from Australia. Um, they're doing some really good stuff and releasing some really great stuff. So, yeah, um, if you don't have any of their releases, the releases are well worth picking up. Um, so, yeah, um, that's it, guys, for this video. I hope you've enjoyed um, this little video for Umbrella Entertainment Collection. Um, please feel free to leave any comments or any feedback and Please subscribe to my channel if you wish. Um, this is Michael Miles 78 and I will sign off and I hope to speak to you again soon. Thank you.